the quarantine logs, Inquisitor. The research cloister has been sealed off on account of demonic infestation. You won't be able to leave the facility until it is secure. Trust me, it will be secured soon. in effect. Subject 872K has breached containment protocols. Area in lockdown. Anything, did you? Something is coming back, but it's unclear. I underwent a mind scrub, but... So, that is what you did eventually. You sacrificed yourself. But not in the way that I'd expected. Who are you? Who am I? You used to be my mentor. You were an inquisitor in pursuit of the greatest secret of the Caligari sector. The research of Uther Tiberius. I guess I didn't find it. Otherwise, we wouldn't be standing here. You got close. And you got careless. You made questionable choices and attracted the attention of first the Conclave, then the Grey Knights. And there is no escaping from the secret protectors of the Imperium. Only death absolves, right? So that was your plan. You sacrificed your former self. And I have returned as someone else. You told me to take on your mantle, and I obeyed. Through pain and fire, I hunted relentlessly for the martyr. I did what you taught me, 
I fought, investigated, made packs and broke them when I had to. And when the warp spat out Uther's floating fortress monastery, I was ready to find it. My path eventually led to the martyr as well. It cannot be a coincidence. Only the Emperor's will, because you found me now when I'm so very close to finding Uther's greatest secret. We must talk about this, but first we purge this area. Uther Tiberius wanted to create an army of former demon hosts. He sacrificed countless lives, sentenced them to damnation, only to make a handful of survivors immune to chaos. I think I know why the martyr needs to be A whole army of loyal warriors immune to the war, ready to conquer the Imperium? Once he would have embraced the idea. Same question anyway. I pray to the Emperor that you are. Loading. Are you ready? Time to purge the unclean, Inquisitor. Side by side, like we used to. Parish, build! Detected. Lockdown deactivated. Good work. Tell me, Klosterheim, did you miss all this? I refuse to burden myself with redundant thoughts and emotions. But I admit, it was a satisfactory experience to fight that battle together. The research cloister is connected to Uther's inner sanctum. That is where Uther secreted away his most treasured research. Are you ready to enter? I need to return to my retinue first and make the necessary preparations. I'm not going to your ship. Trust me. Where would I go? I will meet you here when you return.
sanctum. This is the genitorium that powers the various dissection chapels and the laboratoriums in the sanctum. But we are close. I need to know something, Inquisitor. How did you find the martyr? Were you looking for me? I wasn't even aware of your existence. I was sent here to investigate the soul. Must have been the will of the Emperor then. I am aware of that signal. It was activated by the rebels during the inner strife against Tiberius. It only transmits from time to time. the sigil on the wall. It resembles a demonic mark fused with Xenos and Imperial symbols. Uther called them Imperial Seals. He studied forbidden summoning rites and the arcane machines of a lost civilization, and combined them with sanctioned practices. The seals trap the essence of destroyed demons, so they can't get back to the warp to reform. Uther wanted to conceal the existence of his secret weapon, even from the minions of Chaos. I feel far too close to heresy. What are you talking about? We must fight fire with fire. You taught me that. And I am not the same person anymore. His followers turned against him. The monastery was consumed by war. It crippled the ship eventually. Machine spirit doesn't have eyes or ears there. How do we get through the stasis field? 
I've seen similar security systems on the ship. The status field must be deactivated using two different terminals in different places at the same time. Tiberius was indeed quite protective of his secrets. Proceed to the first cogitator. It must be close. I'll find the other one. The genitorium seems to be populated by a degenerate tribe. to deactivate the stasis field. Are you ready? I'm under heavy fire, but I can access this terminal. Proceed. The stasis field is down. Head back here. I can't. The savages are bringing in some demonic reinforcements. I must retreat and find another way back. Proceed into the inner sanctum. I'll catch up with you.
Klosterheim. If you can hear me, I'm heading towards the Inner Sanctum. Meet me there. Born. I found the body of a word bearer. The filth of Logar. What are they doing on the martyr? There is just one, and he looks dead. I was wrong. He is alive. Another traitor marine lies on the ground. In the filth where it belongs, I wish I could be fighting by your side. According to the message I found, there were more of them, and they were trying to extricate data from three specific cogitators. The word bearers are seekers of terrible secrets. I advise you to find out what they were looking for on the martyr. Consecrated weapon down there. What was a Chaos Warband doing here all those years? Those maggots are specks of dust compared to true Adeptus Astartes. But they possess the same unique organs as we do. I see. Activated their Sussan membrane to a hibernation. Tech Priest, inload the flagged pict recording from this cogitator. This woman might be the key to Uther's secret experiments. 
In progress. Record is tagged as Alpha Trials and Pariah Research. Is she a psychic blank? The antithesis of a psyker? Did Uther Tiberius test his secret weapon on someone without any presence in the warp? Commencing analysis. Approaching the second cogitator. as extreme anomaly. It is incredible. A soulless one absorbing psychic energy is normal, but she's deflecting the attacks. I have never seen anything like this. Whatever she is, this would explain the interest of those traitorous maggots. It sounds like something the word bearers would want to have. Reloading. Die on clear. 
team. of the security logs is complete. Area closed down due to a hostile incursion 3.64 standard Imperial years ago. Intruders identified as word bearers. So there was a whole war band. Something trapped on the ship. the third cogitator. Tech Priest, I have no new records to send you, but I have discovered that even Uther's people found that strange test subject extremely disturbing. Total absence of information in the accessible data looms on the Martyr. The existence of the subject has been erased from the archives. Whatever this creature is, she must have been Uther's greatest secret. I must find out more. I have analyzed the previous inloads. The binary illuminations in PIC recordings contain the encrypted coordinates where the subject was held during the tests. Tell me. Decryption complete. The location of the inner sanctum is at your disposal. Perfect.
lost your signal in that nightmarish tribal camp. I liberated some captured members of my expedition. Where are you? I'm in the inner sanctum. In the scriptorium, I suppose. Uther Tiberius had his own secluded laboratory there, where he must have kept his personal cogitator. Find that room. Loading. His servant to suffer the most glorious torture imaginable. Spare me the monologue, creature, and prepare to die. Tell me, Inquisitor, what did you expect to find here? I was led here by dark prophecies and magnificent fever dreams. But you, you have no idea what we are about to unleash on your Imperium. Enough of your gibberish. Die. Target in sight. I have located Uther's personal cogitator. First, I had to explain to the word bearer filth that they are not allowed to touch it. I'm still worried about their presence on the ship. Access the cogitator immediately. What have you found? The proof we needed. Uther's secret weapon was a unique pariah, who is capable of the impossible. She didn't just banish demons. She utterly destroyed them. By the Emperor. That could have been the most powerful weapon against the filth of chaos. And she could have had a significant impact on the fate of the Sector, or the whole Imperium. We need to know what happened to her. Uther Tiberius had a meditation chamber in the Sanctum, where he must have kept his personal notes. Find that room.
Mr. Heim. I'm in Uther's meditation chamber. I can see a journal. Open it. Have you read the journal? I have, and it contains some surprising revelations. Even Uther Tiberius was horrified by the powers of the Alpha Pariah, that's what he called her. Did he kill her? No. He locked her away in the main stasis chamber. Which means that she must still be alive. This is incredible. And we have a Chaos Sorcerer on the ship who knows about her too. I'm on my way to the chamber. I'm almost there. I'll meet you at the entrance. Together again, at last. Are you ready? The secret of the martyr is within arm's reach. Just imagine the possibilities of the Alpha Pariah is still there in stasis. Now you are talking, like the Inquisitor I used to know. Let's go to the stasis chamber. At your command! These men are the members of my expedition. I thought they were killed. I was wrong. Fully Die, unclean!
resistant to the powers of the war. Something is not working. Or he realized that an army needs a commander. I don't know if the Alpha arrived as someone who found during his journey, or if he obtained her from some darker means, but eventually he And now his legacy will be ours. Behold, the words of the prophecy! In the darkest reaches of the void, on the cursed monastery hidden among living storms, there is the anathema that shall be destroyed. I will make the revelation come true. Not while I breathe, creature. Death to the servants of the corpse emperor. Ready to open the gate? Wait, I see human remains. One of Uther's acolytes by the looks of it. Let's take a look. Anything useful? That is an understatement. Now we know that Uther Tiberius was gravely wounded during the rebellion in the monastery. His trusted men decided to take him off the martyr, with a certain Captain Van Winter at the helm of the rescue ship. He had secured the secret weapon before he fell, though. The Emperor. What is this? Remarkable. It looks like a barrier of pure psychic energy. A tapestry of madness made substance. Another example of Uther's arcane designs, I suppose. Are you ready to enter? I have died for this secret once. I must be the one who walks through that barrier. of the Emperor. I cannot enter. Did you see anything? She is there. The Alpha Pariah is inside, so close and yet unreachable. There must be a way. No, you were right. This barrier was designed by Uther himself, and he made sure that nobody can enter without his authorization. The barrier can only be disabled with his inquisitorial rosette. But... A rosette is the personal symbol of our authority. Each rosette is unique, and Uther has been dead for centuries. It is impossible. You are telling me that it was all in vain? 
We have failed. No. Uther Tiberius was taken from the Martyr to an unknown destination. And I will find where that place is. I am an Inquisitor. Nothing can remain hidden from me. I will uncover that rosette even if I have to burn down the whole sector. What is our next step? We are treading on dangerous ground. Uther Tiberius was so obsessed with fighting the powers of chaos that he ventured too far. Even his most trusted followers turned against him when they realized what he was planning to do. Who cares about ignorant fools? You must surely be aware what the Alpha Pariah could become. Uther Tiberius wanted to destroy the gods of chaos so desperately that he decided to create a god of his own. Yes, I understand. And this is why we must continue his work. For the Emperor. You are right. We must use her powers to fight the tides of chaos. The fate of Imperium justifies the means. You are a dedicated warrior to the cause, and I salute you. I'm also risking excommunication and death. But first, I have to find the Rosette, and I need your help to secure this chamber while I'm gone. I will remain on the Martyr to protect Uther's secret with my life. But are you aware of the potential consequences? Captain, are you serious? You want me to believe you didn't know that the founder of your rogue traitor house was the captain of the Martyrs centuries ago? I swear by the light of the God Emperor Inquisitor that I am just as shocked by this revelation as you are. I need a better explanation, Captain. Inquisitor, our house has followed strict traditions for long centuries. One of those traditions concerns our sacred history. Our ancestral secrets were kept in a treasured logbook, only accessible by the Van Winter sitting on the throne of the house. And who would that be? Nobody. Almost my entire clan has been purged on account of their heretical acts. I was found worthy of redemption, and I'm assisting the work of the Inquisition as a simple captain. Do you think your logbook could help me? Yes. It has been in our possession since Gregor Van Winter the man whose trail you seek, received the warrant of trade. It must contain all his accounts, too. What happened to that logbook? It was hidden on our flagship, the Astute Cavalier, but it disappeared when my father was executed. The logbook must still be in the hold, in a secret compartment. So, I only have to find a fugitive ship in this sector. Sounds easy. My family had a hideout in this subsector on a void station. Those who survived the purge probably ended up there. And strangely, it didn't occur to you to share this information with the Inquisition. No. Don't answer that. Take me to the Void Station.